you do know cosmetic surgery is a choice and race isn't, right? You must know that. Oh, now you know how to compliment people because you told Kaji you liked her energy. Do you not remember? Tobias. When Hugo was crying, I said no. <laughs> I said no. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing okay and everyone is doing well. First of all, good morning because it is actually, it's 12.59 a.m. I started my favorite time of the month yesterday. <laughs> um, so I actually ended up falling asleep. So I didn't actually watch Love Island when it did air initially, um, but I woke up, caught up on Love Island and now we're here recording a video at 1 a.m. As always, there is a lot to unpick and unpack. So as I usually and I always say, please to get cozy and comfortable with your hot Arabina and your snacks. And I really hope you enjoy the rest of this review. So before we get into the fake outrage, I'm also speak about the two new girls, Lucinda and Millie. Guys, let's quickly talk about Brad. I need him out of that villa immediately. Brad had the nerve that actual nerve to be speaking about oh uh, you know it's, I know it's only been like a day but I've seen red flag you've seen what <laughs> talking about red flags you are the red flag mate you see red flags from me who kept you in this villa nah get him out immediately get him out of that villa he is a criminal he is a criminal and he's a threat to this society <laughs> Moving on to the how well do you know your partner game. So essentially what they did was they split up both the couples and then they asked them a bunch of questions and you had a blackboard and you basically had to write down your answer and then reveal it to see if it actually matched your partner. Not Chloe being chosen by all the guys as someone that they would choose if they weren't actually in their couple. Yeah, that was awkward. But I can't lie to you guys, I'm actually starting to like Chloe. Am I the only one? I don't know. And also, why are girls so fake? Like literally Faye was like, <laughs> You don't like her, why are you being fake? <laughs> so speaking of the word fake, guys, what was that outrage? I already told you guys that I suffer from secondhand embarrassment, which means that I'm able to see someone doing something embarrassing or being cringy in a situation, and I feel like it's happening to me. We're gonna speak about Faye and NC10. She does not get called Sharon on this channel anymore because what was that behavior? Faye and NC10, and then Hugo. Hugo was crying. No. <laughs> no. I'm not trying to be rude. Everyone has their own personal preference. If he doesn't like fakeness, he doesn't like fakeness. All of a sudden, Faye was like, oh, I keep hearing that one fake. I just feel like it's being thrown around. <sighs> Even Chloe's had her breast done. And did you see her flinch? No. And then NC10 said the maddest statement. She was like, oh, you know, I will never not date someone because of my rice. So the fact that you said you wouldn't date me because of my cosmetic surgery, I just think that's a bit offensive. You do know cosmetic surgery is a choice. And race isn't right you must know that you must know that because that comment did not leave her lips it didn't <laughs> now don't get me wrong i understand that people have insecurities and i also do understand that some people do undergo cosmetic procedures to try and feel better about themselves but just own it like it it was honestly it just wasn't that deep and although i understand that this can of course form much part of a bigger conversation about cosmetic surgery and insecurities that many young females face because of pressures of beauty standards on society and i'm getting into like the politics of all of that beauty standard stuff they could have been smart and maybe addressed it in a different type of way because like i said that is a very touchy subject for some people and I completely understand that insecurities are a thing but the way they went about it was just completely weird and in all honesty it was like I said it was given secondhand embarrassment Hugo is even good for apologizing because I actually wouldn't have said sorry I would have gone to bed I don't even snore I would have made sure that I snored that night just to let you know I don't care <laughs> I don't so let's quickly move on to the brunch and the two new girls so the girls take a selfie to send to the boys not knowing that Lucinda and Millie are already in the villa so the boys also take a selfie to send back and to be honest I feel like Love Island need a new photographer because the pictures that they post they never give never Lucinda I already did say in my last video I think she's an absolute babe Millie I definitely believe looks much better in person the picture makes her look quite old um she does also look a bit older in person but she doesn't look as old if that makes sense Toby can also go in the bin because when they came he was just like oh my gosh yeah two new girls they're stunning oh oh now you know how to compliment people because you told Kaji you liked her energy do you not remember Tobias 
<laughs> oh my gosh guys get brad out of that villa we need to make sure he's voted out next we actually need to make sure he goes he was moving like a kid in the candy store like have you never seen a girl before brad was like are you naturally blonde are you naturally brunette like what is everyone's obsession with blonde hair if you see a nice girl and she's a brunette do you automatically find her more attractive because her hair is blonde because it is the same girl she just has bleach in her hair and toner maybe a few highlights maybe i know i'm not the only one who's picked up on this and it's been a trend for quite a while but what is this new thing of like wanting to be racially ambiguous don't get me wrong i think lucinda is a very pretty girl and i do think she is gorgeous they were trying to figure out where she's from because of course she's got tanned skin she's got very bright eyes like literally so many different questions it's okay to just say that you're white like <laughs> it's okay <laughs> is that a stretch i don't know i feel like being racially ambiguous has definitely become a very big thing in the past couple of years because they just like the whole exotic and oh where are you from and da -da -da -da. but it's okay to just say you're white it's okay to just say you're black it's okay to say you don't know i just feel like it was yeah yeah Millie of course told us that her type is someone who looks like Anthony Joshua with a Joey Essex personality I've never seen that before but if that's your type sis <laughs> <laughs> so we've already seen a glimpse of tomorrow's episode lucinda goes on a date with brad and millie goes on a date with nc10's husband aaron and we also saw rachel crying and i'm hoping i'm hoping she's not crying because of brad but i know that she is and that in itself is already disappointing me but we're just gonna have to wait and see tomorrow's episode anyway so those are my thoughts on episode eight do you think that whole fake conversation and argument was necessary because i actually don't feel like it was and i'm actually really looking forward to lucinda and millie joining the villa and i think things are now starting to spice up again so that's always a good thing <laughs> i really hope you guys did enjoy this review as always if you have not yet subscribed i don't know what you are doing why am i speaking in this tone but i want to thank you guys so much for watching as always I appreciate your love and your support. Please do take care and I shall see you in our next one. Bye.